Recent Mueller Super Delight mounting with upgrades, upgraded shock, hope cranks, and I put the bottle down here. It's starting to rain, which of course I delayed my ride. Don't mind me. So I'm just gonna do a quick a little ride with the Fox Float X. I'm in uh, E mountain bike mode. Of course, it didn't rain all day. It was overcast, which was perfect for filming. And I didn't get out here quick enough to get uh, before the rain. I have the front shock and the rear shock open. Of course, it's going to start pouring and it's a little uh, slippery when the rain with the, the leaves. So this is just going to be a first ride impression. As it's raining. E mountain bike mode without having to shift the bike gives me a lot of assistance. I'm gonna try to go up. And I have the shocks uh, fully open, front and back with the with the uh, right amount of sag in the front and back. Front fork and rear shock I have the right amount of sag, which makes the bike uh, feel a lot better. Roll off E14. And I'm gonna go up this hill. With the shocks fully open. I'm in fourth gear, E mountain boat bike mode. Now I went down the second gear. So far, no pedal strikes. I have the Hope 155E Bosch Gen 4. Things installed correctly. So the upgrades so far I've done. The handlebars, a little bit of rise, rev grips, box. Float X, Hope, 155, Cranks, DMR, flat pedals. I did install the fit lock magnetic bottle cage in the bottle holder on the bike. No strikes at all with the crakes. 
in fully open on the shocks. On the rain, heart rate got up to 140, so it's 10 p 10 beats per minute slower. Fall time, it's October, I think 23rd. So I'll leave some out, which I'm going to assume makes anything slippery, especially when it's wet. Shock is still substantially better for my 260 pound current weight than the standard float DPS. I, I would not be able to do fully open on the DPS float. I did forget my fox gloves. I was trying to get out before it rained, but this is more than I thought I'd be doing. I have my wrist all the way out to the grip ends. I'm able to do. Here comes the rain. There's the puppy. Thank you. Thank you. I do have my Fox mountain bike knee pads on and elbow pads. Every time you think you're not going to need them, that's when you don't have them on. So, first ride on the Fox Float X is excellent. First ride with the Hope 155s installed correctly. Excellent. I feel like I have a lot of control. I did take off the Avis lock. I never had, don't see me ever leaving the bike anywhere to have to lock it since this is a mountain bike that weighs. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll weigh it. The bike, uh, which I'll have pop up. I did the, I weighed the bike as is as I'm riding it. It was around 70 pounds, maybe 70.8. What's nice is I have really good brakes. <laughs> I wasn't going that fast. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Nobody listens when she doesn't have it. Actually, it's too exciting. Yeah, so I'm not going fast down this. A lot of people walk up this. So this is just a uh, very short ride. With the new Fox Load X. Hope 155 pedals installed correctly. I had them reversed. Drive side is the side where the belt is. Non drive is the opposite side. It's 50 50, but. Oh, yeah. It's going to be pouring soon, so I. Want to get back and not get them soaking wet. Now I raise my seat up all the way, go into turbo. With the uh, class one mountain bike, 
the limitation of 18 miles or 19 miles an hour is nothing. But on the road, you can get to 19 miles an hour in turbo with a couple of little flicks. So right now I'm doing 13.6. So I still have pedal assist. I'm in 12th gear. Go down to 10, faster cadence. And I'm gonna go this way. And make sure that I am recording. Yes, I am. Being in the forest gives me a little bit of a buffer on not getting wet. With mountain biking, I try to have my seat lowered just in case I have to make any quick uh, leg corrections if, I have, if I'm slipping on my regular bike. I, when I'm on the road, I sit up nice and tall. But this is, uh, what's nice is I got a good amount of miles. I wouldn't do that before. I got a few, a good amount of miles on the uh, old shock. So I think I have a good idea, idea, ideal, ideal, idea of how they are going a uh, good amount of miles on the uh, DPS and learning how to have the correct PSI and the shocks is extremely helpful. That's, I think that's the key to most of all this, of uh, you're riding, uh, I guess, pleasure or when your bike, when you don't have to think about your bike and all you can have to think about is the road. I have it so I can grip the handlebars. The drop and seat post is within reach, which is perfect, the lever. It's right where my thumb is. I don't have to hold it there. I have one finger breaking, two if I want. But with people's suggestions and comments, I got used to uh, one finger breaking, which is kick butt. I didn't have my bag on the back. I just wanted to have this bike as light as I can get it to get like a true sense to how this bike could be from trail mountain bike. I think with the, sh with the, uh, Avis lock on and bag in the back and other stuff. This bike uh, is just too heavy for mountain biking. I know it's 70 pounds is pretty heavy for a mountain bike. But being, I'm below 260, but let's say with my clothes on. But being 260, coming down from 293. I need the extra power. This bike gives me 85 newton meters and dual battery. Kick butt. I'll pull off here without getting wet. And I'll do a short little video with my GoPro Hero 11 off camera.
Huh, my heart rate is less. I think the more weight I lose, the better my heart rate. I'm going to flip this around so we can see the roll off, which is one of the main reasons why I love this bike. Keep this going. One of the first things I always want is a heart rate monitor. So I, it's a Garmin, I believe, heart rate monitor. So I definitely suggest that. I like seeing my heart rate. Working my way down, I have the Rev Grips in Pro version. Large DD high rise 80 millimeter M99 Supernova came with the bike. These Magura shot, uh, brakes came with the bike, along with these Nami Nuk tires. And this is the Ergon seat that came with the bike. This rear rack came with the bike. This roll off came with the bike, along with the Magura MT5 and five and four. I like the Gates belt drive on a recent Miller 14 speed internal hub. This kickstand was added. Uh, it normally comes with, with the delight. Luckily, they didn't retool the mountain version. So it has the two uh, screw holes so you can attach the kickstand, which I do like. I don't think it adds any weight. Moving over. Fuse and seat post came with the bike. Dual battery means, super delight means dual batteries, 650 and a five something. I did install this fit auto system in the bottle rack on the bike. I also have it installed here. So if I really wanted to, I could have three of these bottles, fit lock bottles that are magnetic, which has not ever fallen off the bike. But the big boy today, first ride on the Fox Factory Float X, uh, dual chamber, can uh, max PSI is 350. And the cool thing after speaking to Fox on the phone or researching this and Fox on the phone is that this uh, shot can do 30 PSI less than what you normally would need. So normally I would put in my body weight plus 30 PSI, but I was able to put in my body weight. So that worked out great. I did install correctly the Hope 155 Bosch E-Cranks, which I love. It has a uh, internal locking that you don't set two pieces, one piece. No pedal strikes. I do have the DMR flat pedals that in blue that I want to match up with the blue on the Fox. And that's why I have blue here. Blue, 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 and blue. So that's why I did that for. Uh, Bosch Performance CX, class one, 85 newton meter meters of torque has E mountain bike mode. So turbo for the road and then E mountain bike, which is phenomenal because you don't really have to shift once you get going because it automatically adjusts. And from what I learned in E mountain bike mode, you have the full range of economy through tour. If you need, you can go to turbo, which I think is pretty cool. It's almost like an automatic power so this is it. Hey. Just an overview of the upgrades. I consider upgrades. 80 millimeter rise, that fits me much better. 
the rev grips, no hand paint at all. I don't even need gloves. A little bit of movement. I have the white uh, space, so I think it's a little bit of movement. Fox, I believe it's a 36. Yep, Fox 36, which was on the bike. I have these Hope Cranks 155, which I absolutely love. Love, love, love. The MOR pedals, Vault platform, blue to match the blue accents that I mentioned before. So I have the little blue thing on going. Gates carbon fiber belt system, which I love. The only thing that's negative is that you cannot buy this piece on its own. That if you do mountain biking, you can bend it. So a couple days ago, I took it off for these, took it off and hand bent it back into shape. Did speak to Gates on the phone and for some unusual odd reason, they don't want to sell this $17 piece that I consider a crash bar. They don't want to say that, but since I'm talking, I can. So to me, this is a throwaway item. It's two piece, it comes right off. It's in my opinion, it's meant to protect the very expensive teeth in the belt. And if you hit this, make a lot of noise, that's pretty much telling you there's something wrong. Maybe you should check your uh, shock air pressure. So I, I like the concept, but I do want to, if anybody in the comments can, anybody viewing can leave me a comment of what the direct replacement of this would be that's not by Gates because they don't want to sell it, I would be really, really, really happy to give you a Tons of credit and I would actually buy it ASAP and switch it out because I don't really like all the bent up part. So if you know of the an aftermarket third party replacement for this, just a piece. Luckily I did some uh, I did do some photos so I'll show it. And I have the back of it so it tells what the offset is. But Hope pedals are great. E-bike, 155, extremely happy. Biggest happiness. Not the biggest, but Part of the continuous happiness is uh, this factory float X Fox. Water bottle's great. Love it right there, it's out of the way. I don't, but just that is the uh, bike in the current status. So if you like this video, please uh, give me a like and subscription, uh, inscribe.